If you are an entrepreneur or a manager, do you know why you should invest in training your employee continuously? Do you know that your economic survival depends on it? This video will explain why you should train your people on both hard skills, soft skills, as well as people skills. Sir Richard Branson was asked why the Virgin Group invests so much effort and money in training their people. Richard's answer was simply yet very profound and it reflects why his company are, his companies actually are so successful. Sir Richard Branson said, people ask me, what if we spend all this money training our people and then they leave us for a competitor? My response is that, what if we don't invest in our people and they stay in the job? You see, Sir Branson came and show how seriously he takes the learning and development of his employees and it's a practice that most organizations should follow very closely in order for them to have a chance at success. Innovative organizations encourage and support continuing education, offers on-site training to enhance job and management-related skills and provide opportunity for their employees to attend job-related conferences and seminars. Because simply they understand that developing their employees' career is an investment for both the employees and the future of the organization as well. Amazon, for example, offer an intensive month-long training a leadership program before hiring. Can you imagine that? Amazon also prepay, as a matter of fact, 95% of tuition for employees at fulfillment centers to take courses in an in-demand field. A virtual contact center trained employees to work from home. Amazon wants its employee to take ownership over their career growth from day one. And they actually encourage them and put the financial behind them as well. Today's worker not only crave training and development opportunity, they actually demand it. If you do not provide it to them, they will find an employer who will offer it. The reality is that training budgets are cut first and budgeted last due to the lack of evidence of a positive return on investment or ROI. We all know that they work, but it's a very hard to really put a value almost immediately behind it. And the problem is, unfortunately, in times of budgetary crisis, Training dollars always seem to be the first thing taken off the I know, it's easy to do, but it's the wrong thing to do. And its long-term effects are devastating. Training dollars are an investment in bettering your people's professional skills to keep them confident, engaged, and accountable. By not training actually your employees, you affect their productivity as well as safety the overall health of the organization. You see, weak performance is one of the most obvious adverse outcome of neglecting to train your employees. Lack of training can lead to frustration, low morale, anemic output, and unhappy employees and customers. Employees are going to remember how they were treated during tough economic times. Did you nurture your relationship with them during these hard times? Did you add value to their intellectual and professional growth? They will remember what you did and what you like to do during this tough time. You see, coaching, training, and mentoring your employees to become the best version is the most critical function of an organization because trained employees perform better, they boost the company productivity, stay on the job longer, improve culture, and attract better candidates from different competitors. Skimping or shutting down employees' training is the worst thing an organization can do, even in the worst financial time, because revenue generation is always a function of well-trained employees. It takes time to build people's skill sets. Training prime them to deal with all kind of business pressure that comes along. Training is the single skill that turn ordinary people into remarkable performers. It's the skill that turn bad deals into profitable deals. And it's the most potent skill that turn dissatisfied customers into company advocates. That's really what helped 
unhappy customer to highly very happy vocal customer. Good training does not require shutting down your whole operations and sending your salespeople to three day seminar or workshop. Rather, it's a continuous on the job training done by managers, peers, and occasionally senior executive input add value during regular hours. It should take 15 to 30 minutes per session and it should be done two to three times per week. People learn better when you feed them information in digestible bite size and allow them the time to reflect on it, incorporate it into their day job, test the new material as they go. Employees training and development should be an integral part of the job. It should be embedded in team culture and it should be viewed as time to socialize, have fun, learn and share best practices. You see, both hard and soft skills are learned faster in a friendly, comfortable environment where knowledge is exchanged freely and questions are encouraged to discover new horizon and new possibility. Training should not be a single event that rarely happens because that lead to complacency and mental stagnation. Salespeople growth, for example, should be strategically planned and weaved into the DNA of the company. It should be dynamic and ongoing because employees that are not exposed to training, coaching, and constant development lose the purpose and meaning of their job and work. No employee should work for a paycheck only because employees who are working to secure a paycheck will cut corners whenever they have a chance and will quit the moment someone offer them higher pay. They often have no loyalty towards the company as they see that the company does not really care much about them, especially about their development and well-being. Here are some of the results that untrained, unmotivated employees. First is lack of willpower and desire to take greater responsibility. These people are not looking forward to management job. They actually don't even like the job because they lack the training. Most of them actually miss out on new concepts and ideas that yield higher performance necessary for the growth of any organization. Third, they become delusional thinking that they are performing at their peak. Lack of training actually really give them the wrong perception here. Number four, they often plateau in their performance level thinking that the performance is acceptable because no one is training them and showing them a better way on how to upscale their capability. They tend also to lose to more informed and sharper competitor with access to new knowledge and new training. And it's very easy for customers to dismiss their old ideas quickly because they can see through them and they can see they are unprepared and they have stale ideas. Finally, they lose self-confidence and start looking for new job. When they're not really producing, when not, they're not generating the income they feel they deserve, they start looking somewhere else. Sir Branson also commented on how he sees the culture of version as being vital in developing the attitude of his management and staff. He says, train your people so well that they can lead. Treat them so well that they don't want to lead. And I think that's really simple yet extremely profound. How you treat your sales team, for example, or employees in general, can speak volumes about how you feel about them. Although many companies' mantra is people are our greatest asset, the true color are shown by their deeds most of the time. A lack of training shows that the company does not care about its people. And if that's the case, what makes you think that they are genuinely caring about their customers? You see, the quality of an organization is reflected by its purpose, quality of product, and how well it trains its people to become so good that competitors economically fight to attract. By placing your team development high on the list of priority, you send an overt and covert message to them that you have their best interests in mind. If you enjoyed this video, 
please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks a million.